how are you? So today's video, we're gonna talk about many ways to make no-sew hammocks for your cage. We're gonna start with fleece. The first and most easy way to make a fleece hammock is really gonna be just to cut a shape out and poke some holes in it and hang it up. And I saw a really clever idea in a in the crafty rat owners DIY group that I thought it would be fun to show you. So this is gonna be the easiest no-sew double-decker hammock you've ever made. So we're just gonna pick a shape. I'm gonna do a rectangular-ish shape. Like this. Not even really measuring. Just a general, this is about the size maybe of a piece of notebook paper. Maybe a little bigger. <laughs> but there you go. And I've got two of them. You could cut the edge off if you want to. I'm going to because that just bothers me. And then I'm just going to trim this so it's even. Because that also bothers me. And then... The next thing we're gonna do is just poke some holes in each corner for both layers. So I'm actually just gonna fold it like this and snip. So now we have a hole there. Don't want these too close to the edge because it will stretch and you don't want it to stretch the hole and rip. All right, so now we've cut a hole in each corner. We got a couple of options here. You could make little ropes of braided fleece, especially if you bought a whole yard tie a knot in one end and pull it through and then hang it up and tie another knot. You could put your shower rings through this from Dollar Tree. You could also put grommets in if you want. But in my case, what I'm gonna do is just use some twine and we'll hang it up that way. Now, what we're gonna do is fringe it all the way around and we're gonna cut out our corners. So, we're gonna roughly, I just eyeball this. This is probably not perfect. That's okay. Cut out a corner on each side. And then what we're gonna do is make our fringe. That's what it's called here anyways. Okay, we're gonna repeat that all the way around. Now the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna tie knots. But we're not gonna tie every single one of these because when you do that, it bunches up. We're gonna tie every other one. So tie one, skip one, tie one, skip one, tie one, skip one. If you get near the end, and this would be your skip, tie it anyway, because you need a knot on all four corners at both ends. Otherwise, it's not gonna tie and sit properly. So these have to be tied, and then every other one roughly. If you have trouble tying shorter strips, you could make three inches on every side or four. As long as you have enough fabric to do it, go for it. You see how when I pulled that, it made like a bunched space? That's why I'm not tying every single one. So, like I said, I have tied this one. You're supposed to skip one, but this is the corner, so we're gonna tie it anyway. And then we're gonna tie this corner. And in fact, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and tie all of the corners just so that they are done and I don't have to worry about that. All right, now I'm gonna start tying these. Okay. 
last side. And this hammock is done. You'll see that it'll make a nice little cupped shape for the rats to sleep in, which they will love, absolutely. They probably will chew through this because it's not sewn or quilted or anything, and that's okay. It took maybe 15 minutes to make one, so they're not that time consuming to make new ones if your rats chew them. You could also have fun with that and cut a hole in one and make it a pocket hammock or something along those lines. That would be totally fine and the rats definitely wouldn't mind. Now to hang this, because we've got our corners and our pieces near the corners are mostly open, what I would do is separate your layers like this and put a piece of fleece through like a loop. In fact, I'm going to use these selvage edges that I cut off and I'm going to cut them in half and make little corner loops. Push it through and make myself a little loop here. There we go. All right. Make sure they don't pull apart. t-shirt in the same way that I just did with that tie fleece hammock. It's been through the wash many times, the sleeves are shot, but the middle of the shirt is completely usable. There's nothing wrong with it except it's super pilled, very faded, and kind of thin. So we're just going to cut this big section. Now we've got this huge rectangle. We could probably do two hammocks out of this because I'm eyeballing it. I'm not even measuring, you'll notice. And here's what I'm thinking would be fun. Let's make it into a tunnel. Okay. Then we don't have to do anything with this other edge. So we're going to cut both of them and fringe both just the long edge here. Because there's a fold here and a fold on this side. And then this edge is finished. Like it has a hem so we don't have to do anything to it. So let's just fringe this side. And here's a tip. If you don't have old clothes that you can cut up. You can ask friends or family to save them for you. You can also check if you're on Facebook to see if your area has a buy nothing group. You can ask people to save things and send them your way if they're too worn out. Lots of people are really happy to save things so that they don't get thrown away. It doesn't even matter if you have the same number of fringe or anything, because we're gonna do both pieces independently. Part one. Get the view out of the way. Popcorn kernel. All right, my camera's gonna die soon. So next, I'm gonna take one of them, this one, turn it wrong side out, and I'm gonna put it inside of this one. I'm gonna make it so, these are the hem edge, the bottom of the shirt. I'm gonna make them backwards just cause it makes me feel better. And I'm gonna line up my seams here. Now, what I think will be fun to do with this is if I take it and I hang it up, I could do this a couple of ways. I could just hang it like this and put something through the middle to hold it open. I could make holes in a couple of spots. I'm only doubling this just because this t-shirt is so worn out. I can make holes in a few places and hang it 
same way. Could fringe both ends and tie it so it's more tunnel-like. I'm not sure yet. I think I'm gonna leave it just like this for right now and I'll decide when I put it in the cage. Thanks for watching. Bye.